I found a Dell. And it's a really kind of old one, if I'm honest. It's an old Dell Dimension XPS machine. The model specifically is a T700R. And I haven't seen any of these on YouTube or pretty much anywhere on the internet, so I figured, why not make a video of it? So here I am, making a video of it. Quick overview of this thing. It's got a CD-ROM drive, not a burner, just a reader. This would have had the option to come with a zip drive, either in one of these, uh, right from the factory. Blank slot, floppy drive, power button. Uh, there's some vents along the side and the bottom of the front, which are very, very well clogged with dust. Uh, again, logo right there. And it came with a Pentium 3 in design for Windows 98 NT and 2000. I've been taking a look inside this thing, I promise. All I've done is just remove this cover so that it'll come off easier when I'm making the video. And here we are. We have a computer. Power supply, I'm going to assume this is a 230 watt or comparable just because of the age and design of it. It looks like similar ones. There's a, an optical drive, IDE of course. There's the back of the floppy drive. There's a hard drive in here. Can't really read it, but I believe this is a 20 gigabyte Mac store. I will correct myself if I'm wrong. Um, not a handle, so that means I can do that. Aha! And reveal. That came off really easily. It wasn't even held in there. There's a little fan shroud. It's got a slot one. I believe. Uh, Pentium 3. Very, very cool. Uh, from my cheat sheet, this is, I found out, this is a 700 megahertz. Uh, this looks like a 128 megabyte stick of SD RAM. So this thing has never been upgraded. This is what it came from the factory with. And coming off of this power supply, we've got this stupid little connector that I absolutely despise because I can't put a new power supply in this thing if I needed to, but it's got a 20 pin and then six pin other thing that I don't like. Coming down the board, we have a, what looks like, it's an ATI Rage 128, so it's a, I think it's a 32 meg AGP card. There's a Turtle Beach sound card. There's a, an IDE controller in there. I wonder what that disc controller is for. A little cord that comes off of it. And it goes to a SCSI hard drive indicator. Huh. It's got a SCSI card, I guess. Interesting. I'll have to take a look at that. And down on the bottom looks like a network card of some sort. Yes, it is. It uh, looks like a 10100 Ethernet. And there's the back of the sound card, back of the the video card with the VGA port on it. And here is a very, very basic Dell computer um, from the time. It's got two PS2, two USB, a COM, and a printer port. Really, really nothing to report at all. So what I'm going to do is plug it in and see what happens, because I like doing that. Well, it turned on immediately. I guess that's a good sign. Hard drive finished spinning up. It's a very loud hard drive. Got the factory Dell splash screen. I hear something in the disk drive. Maybe it's uh, an install disk or something. Maybe it's music. I can add it to my music library. Here are the floppy drive. And... Should be doing something right about now. This board, as I'm looking at it, and I'll show you the screen in a minute. This seems to be based on the uh, Intel 440BX motherboard. I had an SE440BX-2 uh, motherboard, and that was my first computer. It was based on that, and it was a very solid board. And this looks almost exactly the same, minus the uh, another ISA slot. I think this one had an ISA slot, or two of them rather than that PCI slot down there. So the CMOS battery is undoubtedly dead. So I think we can just, we can just skip that. Hear that hard drive seeking. Windows 98. Just as I expected. 
Windows 98 looking very good on this screen. It doesn't look stretched or anything. It looks perfect. Something I've never seen before. I don't hear any hard drive activity. Just kind of spinning away. Do we have an activity light? No, we do not. So, one of two things is happening right now. Either one, it's broken, which is definitely true. Um, not true, but more than likely. Or it's trying to think about something. Oh, and now the little bar at the bottom is frozen. Don't hear any activity, and I don't see anything either. So, unfortunately, I think that's it for this machine. Um, I could very well install Windows 98 on it, and that will be for a later time, but what's in here? Oh, it's got a Windows 98 install disk. For PCs without Windows. Hello, I can see me. Um, cool. And it's in great condition as well. Very, uh, no scratches on it at all. So I'm going to put it down like that and get some scratches on it. And this drive just put itself back in. And I think this is stuck. So what I'm going to do is shut the machine down. Or turn it off and then turn it back on. And then uh, turn it around to the front and sign off. Because there's nothing else I can do with this besides install Windows. So... There it is. That's a Dell Dimension XPS T700R desktop machine from approximately 1999-2000. And yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching.